Hey guys, Ricardo here. Welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. And of course, today I'm going to show you how to go about fixing issues or problems with or problems with um, Android 9 or Android Pi, severe battery drain issues. So if you have updated the latest Android Pi, as you can see here, I am on that update. If you're on such an update, as you can see here, this is the One UI interface. We have the One UI update. You can actually have issues where battery is draining severely so if you're having severe battery issues it might happen right off the bat or as soon as your battery reaches a certain percentage like 50 or thereabout so if you're experiencing such severe battery drainage and you're not getting consistent battery life and it was right after updating to android um, pi just go ahead and follow this tutorial to show you to deal with the problem And the first thing you want to do guys, just go ahead and go to the dialer. And once you're in the keypad, just go ahead and you're going to type in the following. Star, number sign, zero. And after the zero, you're going to input the, the following code. So that's zero, next, two, two, eight. And of course, you're going to hit ash. Once you do that guys, you're going to be taken to this screen right here. And let me just focus or bring it into focus. You can actually see here where it says network. It also gives you um, current value, um, charge types, and so on. And it gives you the voltage of everything. Now what you're going to do next is to fix the issue with your battery drain. Is just look right down here. You'll notice it says here, quick start. And of course, you're going to hit quick start. And that's the option at the base here. Ah, there you go. So quick start. So let's go ahead and hit quick start. And once you do that, you should see this warning here that says warning. Um, fuel gauge will reset, causing battery capacity to be inaccurate. Do not use unless it is written in your test procedure. And of course, we are doing the test procedure now because of course you're having issues with your battery not um, behaving as it should or your battery is draining quite quickly. All right. So in that case, seeing that you're having the problem, we're just going to go ahead from here and you can hit OK. I'm not going to do it on this device as this device is working fine. But it will be fine on yours. You're going to go ahead. It's going to run through the process, allow it to do its thing. And once it's completed, of course, you'll come back to right here, which is your main screen. And from here, what I want to do next, guys, is just to drain the battery. You can actually naturally use the phone, allow it to deplete all the way down to 0%. You can actually play games or whatever you normally do. Games are fast or quick at draining the battery. And once you drain the battery, what's going to happen is that the phone is going to shut off and you're going to charge again back to 100%. And even at 100%, just leave it plugged in for a while so it can be fully charged. And once you do that, uh, make sure that you reboot the phone um, as well. And of course, once you do that, it will actually come back and your battery should start behaving as normal. And that's the first tip to actually deal with severe battery drainage. Once you're on the updated One UI or Android 9 on any Samsung device. Now guys, if the battery calibration did not work, which is the first tip using that code with the dialer. Next thing I want to do is to go to settings. And in settings, I want you to go down to um, general management. That's the option right there. And once in general management, go to reset. Do not worry, we'll not be erasing anything from the phone. We're just going to reset network settings, which is second option. That says reset network settings. And what's going to happen here is it's going to reset every network setting back to their default. This should, of course, cause any is um, issues to be fixed, especially if your battery drain issue is caused by some configuration or misconfiguration. Um, in most cases, the only thing that you'll lose is Wi-Fi access password. So you might have to log back into your, um, your Wi-Fi, but otherwise it will not delete any of your data. Let's go ahead and tap reset network settings and go ahead and follow the instructions on screen. You'll be asked for the code and so on and it should reset your network settings. And of course, that's the second thing you can actually do to fix battery drain issues on the updated Android version. All right. If that doesn't work, the next thing you gotta do, which is the third option, guys, is just go ahead and simply power down your phone as shown here. So you're just going to power off. Once the phone is powered off, guys, we're going to boot into recovery mode. So just hold on power, volume up, and big speed key. So just hold all three. And you're going to wait until you see the 
menu here. And once you do that, you're just going to let go when you see the blue screen. There you go. You can let go at this point quite easy. If you mess up, just try it again. Sometimes if you're not holding the buttons properly, you might not get into this mode. It should say Android no command and if you pass the screen as well, just give it some time. And there you go. We are now in recovery mode and recovery mode is navigated. Use volume up and down to move through the menu and power button at the side here to select. And the option you want to go to right now is the option that says wipe cache partition. And once you do that, you're going to hit um, power. And there you go, you should select, and you're going to select um, yes. And once you select yes, what's going to happen is going to wipe the cache. Do not worry, it will not delete anything from your phone. Your data will be okay. And of course, as I said, just select yes. I've done it on this already, so I'm not going to do it again. So I'm just going to select no for mine. For you, you select yes. And of course, once it does its thing, you're going to come back here. You're actually going to go ahead and reboot your phone. By rebooting your phone, the phone will start up again. Another thing you can actually try guys is to go into um, settings Once you're in settings, go ahead and go around to And go down to here, just look through You should see an option that says Device care Once you're in device care, you should see here It gives you a checkup It's actually good to actually run these um, systems it does help to um, maintain your phone it can also target and tell you which apps are actually draining the battery in case it's caused by an app as in some cases that might be the case so um, i recommend you can go ahead and optimize now that's the first step next after doing the optimize now option go to battery once in battery just pay attention to your battery usage here and it says here it's giving you a detail as to how long you use the app it shows you how long it's been running in the background and how long it's active and so on so you can actually go through and hit the optimization for battery and you can actually again go into battery usage look at your graph and based on the graph you can look at what's using most battery such as the screen which is usually normal you can see that I use a lot of camera, the Android system, idle and so on, and it will identify specific apps. If you see anything out of the ordinary right here, just go ahead and target or write it down. It might be a app that you have um, installed that's um, coded pro, um, poorly. And if the app is coded poorly, it could result in severe battery drain. So if you see an abnormal app push to the top of the screen, especially one that you have installed, um, recently or one that has not been updated for a very long time once you know what the app is just go back to the main screen after optimizing go into apps once you find set up so let's say this this one here you can actually go in and uninstall the app and or find a suitable replacement in some cases that might fix the problem Next, we we'll look at what you can do in case all else fails. The, the last and final thing you can actually try. Okay, guys, so as a final resort, and this is after exhausting all options, if nothing else works and your battery is still being depleted, the last thing I want to do is to back up your phone. And once you back up your phone by using either the Samsung keys or any of those tools provided by Samsung, or you can manually back up your photos and documents on your phone, you're going to re return to this menu, which we used earlier in the tutorial. And of course, once you're in here, this time you're going to go down to the option on screen here that says wipe data and factory reset. Notice it gives you the one in red there. It's as if your phone is reset. You may need to enter the, your Google account again, email address and an associated with your phone able to use it again. All right. So just make sure that you know your Google account that's associated with your phone. Or before you actually go ahead and do this process, make sure that you go in, log back in and delete your Google account from your phone and then come back here as of course during the setup process it might ask you for your email again so to make the process go smoothly I advise that you go back in back up your phone delete out your Google account then come back in here and then of course you're gonna go down to wipe factory data reset and as I said before it's gonna erase all your data thus the warning to back up your phone before doing this and once you select this option just go ahead and hit power it will ask you again to say yes and once you do that, 
it will erase your phone and of course the phone will start up afresh it will be like the first day you got it out of the package and of course in most cases it will be able to fix the issues that you're having and of course that's the last effort that i recommend in fixing the process um, if that fails guys of course i don't think there's anything else you can do because um, usually up to this point that last ditch effort usually fixes it for most people if everything else has failed all right guys ricardo gardner from blog tech tips saying bye until next time and i hope your issue has been fixed with severe battery drain issues with the updated android 9 with the one ui interface and samsung device ricardo saying bye until next time bye